Hello happy people! I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited because Vetsy was kind enough to reach out to me to review some of their products and so of course I said yeah so this is the um, package that they sent me um, so yeah it just says here at the top hello there over here it says this package was especially made for you and then here at the bottom it does have all of uh, Vetsy's social media um, handles as well as their website in case you guys want to go over and check out some of their products but yeah let's hop into this and see what I received Ooh, okay so this is everything that they sent me this is really nice I actually wasn't expecting them to send me a brush but they sent me the oval Vetsy brush this is really pretty I like the white handle and the gold trimming looks very nice and luxe Okay, so this is what that brush is looking like. Really nice and soft, okay. So I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out here and show you all what I got. Okay, so I did receive three of their solid gel polishes. And so first off, this packaging is really beautiful. I love the like like the square um, shape to it. And then I love that it has like that, um, what is that, kind of like the matte glass or stained glass look with the company name on the front. It's really nice. So this is a 5 gram container and I got it in the color uh, 103 Diva. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Ooh. Oh wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Holy moly. Do y'all see this? That is a beautiful red. Okay, definitely gotta put that in today's look. Don't know how, but that's stunning. So I got that. 69 Secret. So Secret is a really beautiful nude color. I think that's gonna look really nice. Um, and I like too that in this solid gel cream, it does have that little ledge. So when you're working and scooping out the uh, gel cream, you can scrape off all your excess product on that little ledge. So it's really nice that they have these with their containers. Sugar High, and that's number 19. Ooh, okay. So this is a really beautiful pearly, um, pearlescent, pearly pink color. <laughs> um, and so yeah, it's really gorgeous. I really like that as well. So these are the three solid gel polishes I got. Next, they actually sent me some of their um, solid builder gel, which I was really excited to try out. Um, so let's take a look at these. Ooh. This packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's interesting. This actually looks like um, something that like um, cosmetics will come in, like maybe like a facial cream or something like that. So it's interesting that they chose this container, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so let's take a look at this. You all know, anytime I open up a builder gel, I do use my um, cuticle cutter here. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this open here. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, okay. So this is what the solid builder gel looks like. Um, it's interesting, it's very firm to the touch, it's really thick. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to think about it. So I feel like this is something that would be cool to use as like a solid nail glue almost, like to apply full cover tips or even to do like some 3D sculpting with. So I'm gonna be really interested to play around with this a little bit more. I guess I could pick up a little piece here. I really didn't want to touch it, but I guess I could pick up a little piece here and see um, what that's looking like. So hold on a second. Now it does give you instructions actually of how to use this. Um, and it says you're supposed to use the brush to do it. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, this isn't gonna pick up with a brush, okay? The brush is not firm enough to pick it up, so I don't know how they were expecting that to happen. So I guess you kind of have to use your hands. So I'll pick up a piece of it. Okay, yeah, that just feels weird, huh? It, it almost feels like gum, you know? But it's not sticking to the hand, which is nice. I do have a swatch stick here. I guess I'll just go ahead and <laughs> swatch this color for you guys. So roll it into a ball and press it down, I guess. It's pretty easy to work with though, I will say that. Yeah, very interesting product to say the least. I like it though. Um, my hands don't feel sticky. It does smell like builder gel. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that, okay? And then we'll get into the next color. I actually really like this a lot. It's very, very different, but I like it a lot. The next one here is 001. Wow, okay. So I also picked up the clear color. Looks like it has a really big air bubble in it. <laughs> yeah, just the consistency is really interesting. You see how it just like, I don't know. It's just a, a very firm, solid builder gel, but it's non-stick, which I really like. Um, so let's see here. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get this one swatched out as well, just to kind of see how clear the clear really is. I like it though. You know, this is how it looks. Like this is the consistency of it. It's like I don't. It's like a gummy consistency. I don't know. It's it's weird, but I like it. <laughs> So you'll go ahead and just put it on the swatch stick here and then smooth it out and then you're done. That's pretty crazy. This is very, very revolutionary, I'll tell you that. So then I'm just kind of like lightly rubbing over it just to get my fingerprints out of it. And that's it y'all, and then the nail is built. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Yeah, that's just interesting, like it's just, <laughs> Just sticking straight out there, but yeah, it's a cool consistency. I really like it. So that's that, and then I am also going to go ahead and swatch out these um, solid gel polishes. So first I'm going to start with Secret, which is this really beautiful nude color. This is how it picks up. Okay. Just like any other kind of like, you know, pudding gel or cream clays. Oh yeah. Well that's really nice. I like how this applies. I feel like it's a little bit easier to apply than some other solid uh, nail products I've tried. And it's also self-leveling, which is really nice. So that is one coat of coverage. It's pretty opaque as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Next I'm gonna go in with Sugar High and swatch that. Oh, that's pretty. This is what Sugar High looks like. I really like the consistency of these. Like, I feel like they're not very streaky as are some of the other, like I said, pudding gels I've used before. And they seem to self-level quite nicely. So I'm really liking that about these. Yeah, they definitely seem like they are like, like really nice quality, you know? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. The final color here that we have here is number 103 Diva. Let's see how this picks up. This is a really beautiful red, like absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for this time of the year, Christmas time. So yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and swatch this on out. Yeah, look at that. That is just a really pretty red. Really gorgeous, love this. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, again, I love how this self levels and that is one coat coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This is what everything looks like swashed out. Um, I'm gonna start with the solid builder gel. So this is what the clear looks like. I do feel like there is some slight yellowing to this builder gel. I wanna see if I can show you guys here. So yeah, I do feel like there is some slight yellowing um, to it. I don't know if you all can um, see it here on camera, but it's not like clear clear, but you know, it's still gonna be like a nice clear to use. So yeah, that is the um, the clear one and it did, it's very solid. It did cure all the way through. Um, next we have here is 004 and this is a really pretty like soft pink kind of nude color. Um, so I'm liking that. The only thing is, is with this, you want to make sure you try to smooth it out because I can still see my fingerprints, but honestly, once you apply top coat and gel polish over it, you won't be able to tell. So yeah, I'm really liking these solid builder gels. They're like such a cool concept to build out the nail. Like it took me no time to do that. So I'm going to be excited to build my nails out with that as well as do some 3D art with it. We also have here Sugar High. This is a really beautiful, like I said, pearly um color here absolutely lovely next we have secret which is a really really gorgeous nude color i'm thinking that's just gonna look really nice on me and so yeah i really like how that looks i actually haven't applied top coat to these either i'm not gonna say they're like are they no wipe no okay they might be no wipe i don't know 
I haven't applied top coat to them yet, but they don't actually feel like they're like sticky either. So that's interesting. These might actually be no wipe solid gel polishes. And then the last color here we have Diva, which is 103. Absolutely gorgeous red color, perfect for Christmas time. And so yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take these nails off and we're gonna get into a look. So I'll be right back. I have taken off my gel polish and I want to now go in with my favorite stiletto nail tips from Amazon. That's what I'm gonna be I'm using as my nail tips and I'm going to be sculpting my nails. I'm going to take my uh, flash curing lamp here to apply my tips. I'm going to go in with my favorite uh, peel off base coat from Moran. So I'm going to apply that really quick. Now that my peel off base coat has been applied, I'm going to go in with my nail glue from Beatles and I'm just going to go ahead and apply all of my nail tips. What you'll want to do is take the nail tip and apply just a little bit of the nail glue to the inside of the well like so. so turn your light on okay and then you will go ahead and just flip it over apply it to your nail and cure in place and then you repeat that process for all of the nails now that all of the tips have been applied I'm gonna go in with the clear builder gel which is 001 the solid builder gel and I'm actually gonna attempt to just sculpt my nails you guys um this is gonna be pretty interesting to do so I might just try to take what's in the lid here and yeah you see how it just kind of comes off so I'm just gonna use this to sculpt my nails <laughs> which is so crazy. I'm gonna just set it down like this, as you all can see. And then from there, I'm just gonna kinda push the product back to my cuticle, like so. I will say that I don't recommend you all touching this product with your hands. I would say that it, was, it would be better for you to go ahead and just um, try to use, oh, you know what? Because this is slick, it's not gonna stick to this, so what I should do so actually before I even be, try to build this nail out I'm gonna try I'm gonna do this again I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a thin layer of base coat so that the nail doesn't pop off consistency of this is really weird surprisingly I like it huh? what you're gonna do first is go ahead and go in with it again this time I'm just kind of laying it down a little bit differently And you're just gonna guide the product where you want it to be, really. Seems pretty easy to work with, though. And yeah, just like that, I sculpted my nail. That didn't even take like a whole minute to do. Wow. So, what I am gonna do, though, is just kind of lightly, just kind of like rub the surface of it just to get kind of my fingerprints off of it like so so it's just like a really gentle rubbing motion and so now all of my fingerprints are off like so yeah i really like this and that's a beautifully sculpted nail there you see that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds there is a little bit of a, ooh, hot, 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 hot. there is a slight heat spike with this gel too. As it's curing, it actually hurts, so I had to take my hand out the lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in here for it to finish curing. This is what that nail looks like after it's being cured. Um, it does cure with like a slight tacky layer. So that's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the next one here. So I'm gonna take my uh, cuticle pusher and just kind of like bring up a little bit of the product here. So maybe like this much product here. Okay, and then just roll it into place. And kind of rolling it into like a long piece was really helpful. I'm just gonna set it down on the nail like this and then literally just mold it and push it where I want it to be. I mean, really easy peasy, you know? And I just gotta show you guys from the side what I'm doing. So I'm literally just kind of like dragging it down. The consistency of this feels like a solid poly gel almost. Like it reminds me of poly gel a little bit, but it's just like, solid you know and it really does not stick to your skin at all um yeah this is nice this is perfect you know i'm getting all the way up to the cuticles not touching it like 
you know, for those who are beginners and struggle with building their nails, this is a really nice way to be able to build structure to your nail without, you know, really knowing what you're doing for real, for real. So then after it's so it's applied now, right? And after it's applied, I'm going to go in with a really, really light rubbing motion just to get rid of my fingerprints. And I'm just going to do that to the entire nail like so. Okay. And once it looks how I want it to look, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This is what the second nail is looking like. I'm really impressed at how easy it is to build out my nail with this. Like, this made me feel like I know what I'm doing, okay? So I'm going to go in with another little ball here. Um, again, I'm just going to kind of pick some up with my cuticle pusher here. Like, maybe about like this much. And then I guess I'll use my hand to get the rest. Like the only thing I don't like about this is that you kind of have to use your hand. Um, I've seen videos where people tried to use gloves and it just didn't work. So next I'm going to go ahead and set the um, little bead down like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to mold it into place where I want it to be. So I found that just using a light padding motion to move the solid builder gel to where you want it to be was the best way. Um, to get it to sculpt the nail and then using a light buffing motion with your finger is a great way to remove the fingerprints from the nail. Okay, so that's what that looks like after it's been cured and now I'm just going to go in with the pinky and I'm going to use the rest of what um, came off of the uh, previous nail just in the apex area. Then I'm going to grab just a little bit more of this builder gel here to finish out that nail. So another thing I really liked about this solid builder gel is that if you had to go in with multiple beads of the builder gel, they did blend into one another very easily. There was no like lines of demarcation. So I really like that about this gel as well. This is what all of the nails are looking like. This is what it looks like how I sculpted them with my fingers, which is just different, but I actually really liked it. Um, this is how much builder gel is left. So there's still plenty of gel left to do many more sets so i like the fact that you don't have to use too much um there is a, a slight sticky layer not really too sticky but just very slightly so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the surface of the nails with some alcohol and i'm gonna file shape and buff off camera and i will be right back you guys this is what the nails look like after they have been filed shaped and buff so this is what i'm working with now i'm about to go in with the solid gel polishes here Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Secret on all the nails except for the pinky and apply that. And I am going to be using the oval brush that came with all the products. So again, you'll want to just take a nice amount of the product on the brush. Okay, and then just apply it on the nail. And you'll kind of want to use like a floating motion, like a really soft hand whenever you're working with these type of products. Um, any type of like pudding gels or solid nail polishes. It's good to use like a nice uh, light hand. That way you don't get too many streaks on the nail. Alrighty, so this is what one coat of coverage looks like. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the second coat. This is what two coats of coverage looks like. And now I'm going to go in with Diva, okay, and apply that to my pinky nail. This color is absolutely beautiful, by the way. That is absolutely stunning. I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So I do want to go in with the French tip on this one. I want to use that Diva color to create a French tip. And I'm going to be going in with my Young Nails liner brush. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the product here on my brush. And when I go in with a French tip, I do start on the side. I do create a semicircle. And I'll go in and I just create half of the semicircle on one side. And I'll create the other half of the semicircle on the other side and just kind of connect the two like so. That's perfect. And then I kind of typically will flare the product towards the top like so. That's pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. 
and cure that for 60 seconds. This is what we have so far. Next, I'm gonna do like a striped nail over here, kinda like a peppermint nail. I'm gonna use my white liner from Joss Love. You all know I've really been enjoying these liners. To draw the peppermint nail, I literally just took the liner brush and drew a diagonal line from one side of the nail to the other. That's what that nail is looking like so far. So on this nail, I do actually wanna go in with some snowflakes. And I do have here my stamping plate, okay? And first I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the, remove the blue protective thing that's on here. I think I wanna go in with just a couple of different types of snowflakes and put them on the nail. So, I do have my favorite stamping polish, which is from Born Pretty. And it's in the color pure. I'm gonna go on with this snowflake right here. Okay. And when you're doing stamping, you'll wanna apply just a generous amount of the polish onto the stamping plate. You'll do one quick swipe down like so. And you'll go in with your stamper and then do a pick up. Unfortunately, that one did not pick up clean, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and rub that off and try again. Again, just a generous amount of the polish onto the stamping plate. Do a quick swipe down like so. So that took a couple tries, but I finally got a clean pick. So I am gonna go ahead and put that onto the nail. I think I wanna just put it right about here. Okay, that's really pretty. And I think I wanna do like one more snowflake right over here, okay? So, this snowflake here and put it on. One quick swipe down. Pick up with your lovely. Take your lint roller, remove anything that doesn't need to be there. Oh, that one picked up pretty too. I have two that's on my stamper here. Okay, I'm gonna try to put both of them on there. So the first one I'm gonna do kinda off to the corner, like so. And then this last one here, I'm gonna do like right about here. Alrighty. So that's what we got for this now. I'm gonna move on to the next one. My ring finger here, I actually wanted to draw a little bit of a reindeer. So I am gonna go in with my dotting tool here and just draw two eyes. And I'm gonna be using my black gel paint and mission control. Get two dots out of here to create the eyes for the reindeer. I'm gonna do like this. And then like this. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I'm just gonna do two white dots here in the center. So like here. Like here. Oh, that's too big. Let me do that over. And then for Rudolph's nose, I am gonna go in with this red color here, which is super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Next, I'm gonna go in with Clutch from Young Nails. Okay, y'all, so drawing this reindeer was definitely a trust the process kind of thing when, because when I first drew the eyes, I was like, this thing does not look right. But yeah, so to draw the antlers, you want to draw two long squiggly lines just above the eyeball. And then after that, you would go on to that and just draw like four little lines coming off of the antler. And it turned out looking really, really pretty. So that's how it looks. Oh my goodness. So y'all, this is what my little brood off the red nose reindeer looks like. He is super duper cute. So now on this finger here, I do want to go in with a little bit of bling. This is the placement that I'm going to have for this nail here. And then I also, also going to be trying out my Lissette's Gel Nails Bling It Gel. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I'm super excited to try it out. So um, yeah, I do have a full unboxing of a lot of Lissette's products if you all want to go and check it out to see what all she offers. I'm going to be using the Lissette's Gel Nails number no. 4 brush to apply my Bling It Gel, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna take a generous amount. Um, this is a no white blanket gel, so I really like that because I'm not gonna have to worry about um, going in and sealing things in with the top coat. So I'm gonna apply a thin layer of that to the entire nail. 
that self level beautifully. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead with my bling placement. Beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Y'all, do y'all see this bling, baby? This is hot, okay? I'm really liking that no white bling gel. It's kind of nice to just be able to apply your bling and not have to worry about going over it with the top coat. So definitely loving that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply top coat and I'm gonna go in with Lissette Shiny Top Coat. I'm really excited to try it out and see how it performs. And so yeah, after that, I'm gonna do my thumbnail off camera and we'll be back with the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute, though? Yes, I am loving how my first Christmas set has turned out. Um, I am obsessed with this cute little Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, as well as this full out bling nail. I'm talking, it's the placement for me, okay? And it's the shine for me, all right? These little Amazon rhinestones are doing me right, okay? So yes, let me know what you all think about this set. Overall, my final thoughts on the Vetsy nail products. I absolutely love them, if I'm being honest with you all. These solid builder gels are just so different, you know? It's different from any other product I've ever worked with. And I really enjoyed being able to build out and sculpt my entire nail with my hands. Um, now again, that's not something I really would recommend. Um, I think they actually say you should use gloves or something like that, but um, I found that it was a little bit easier to work with my hands. But yeah, y'all, I love that I was able to build out and sculpt my nail in like, I think it only took me like maybe 10 minutes to sculpt out the whole set, which was really awesome. And then in regards to the solid gel polishes, I really enjoyed working with these because I love the fact that they self-leveled and they were very opaque. And so yeah, Betsy has some really nice high quality products. A big shout out to Vetsy for sending these products over to me for review. I absolutely love them. Had a great time working with them and I'll be excited to try more of their products in the future. Um, I do have a discount code with Vetsy as well. If you all are interested in trying any of their products, I am going to leave my discount code here on the screen as well as in the de description box below. It's Rose318. So, um, and that's going to save you 20% off of their website. So if you all are interested in trying any of these products for yourself, I do recommend them. And in regard to Lissette, products this is one of my first this was my first time trying her bling it gel as well as her shiny top coat and I absolutely loved these products as well so you all can see the shine on my nails is beautiful and that bling is sitting in place nice and right I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!